All right, you two, what is up? I am a very happy camper today because, um, well, this is going to be kind of a mixed video between my mouse breeding project, my mealworm breeding project, and my cricket breeding project. So, um, three video and one special. Now, I'll start out with the mice. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure that, uh, Whitey back there is pregnant because she had a... Because she was together with Mr. Sex Machine here. And, uh... Oh, look, he, he's fixing to go back for more. He's, he's like, kissing up to her, and now he's, he's, he's grabbing her neck. And he's gonna go in for the kill. Y'all might not want to see that. Anyway, we had a black and white female. And before I move on... No one, no one ever buy caged things because I thought that they couldn't escape from it, but apparently not because actually both this white one and unfortunately our more pregnant female escaped from it, which is not good obviously. So we wasted like 15 bucks on this piece of shit. And we, as you can see, we caught the white one, which is the lesser pregnancy, the lesser pregger. But the black and white one is still at large somewhere in my room. So just hope that I find him. Uh, second of all, in our mealworm breeding project, bam, we have three pupae. And, um, I was gone for the weekend, and I need to change up the potatoes. I changed them out on Friday, and it's now sa Saturday night, Sunday night, my bad. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty excited, because I just found them right smack dab in the middle of the cage. And, um, hopefully I'll be getting more in time. So that's how the mealworm uh, breeding project is. We've got three pupae, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and snap the dang. That's not the right top. Um, well, I'll find the top in a second. But uh, so, yep, success. Crap, that was a hard drop. Um, success in. Our mealworm breeding project. Oh. Um, yeah, so next we'll move on to Cricket Town, USA. Now, um, I did find Eco Earth, in case y'all didn't notice. I've got some leftover, which is in here. And, like, I just sat there and watched the Eco Earth grow in the water, and it is so fun just to sit there and watch it grow. But anyway, um, as you can see, there's already like holes all around the place. And see this one right here is digging currently. There's also some digging back there. There's actually one underground right there. I'm not sure if that means anything, but hopefully I'll start to see some itty bitty baby crickets soon. And, um, yeah, and ever since I put them on this EcoWorth and put them next to Geico's cage light, I've only seen, like, three die. Uh, oh, I made that five, my bad. <laughs> uh, uh, dear God, please bless these five crickets that I found dead in the cage today, and please give them a good eternal life in cricket heaven. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I heard that if you put them in like 80 degree temperature, then I should have about two to 400 pinheads in about a week. Don't know if that's true, don't know if that's a scam, don't know if someone's trying to hunt me down and kill me, but anyway, I hope that it's true. So, there's three, mm, I don't know how many, I'm just gonna take a while to guess and say it's like five or something, but one, I need y'all to pray for me, 
and pray that I find that black and white female. Two, I need y'all to hope that these pupae turn out to be good pupae and turn into beetles soon. Um, three, pray that I get more pupae and that the current mealworm stay healthy. Uh, four, pray that or hope that I get some baby crickets in the future. Um, so yeah, um, subscribe and view my channel to see my other videos. <clears throat> Go down there to comment and rate and leave suggestions about any of these, uh, like, about mealworms, mealworm pupa, mealworm beetles, mice, crickets. Even leave me a comment about my floor. But, um, yeah, oh yeah, we picked up this laser pointer at the store and it drives Frisbee insane. And also all the other pets, but Frisbee just goes wild. So, I'll probably put a video up about that, so, peace.